Hey, on this episode of Bone Wild TV, we're headed down to Texas. We're gonna be hunting Aldad. Aldad is known as a poor man desert sheep. So we're gonna try it. We got the crossbows. We'll see what happens. Texas has some pretty awesome hunting opportunities. This is one of those states where you can hunt big game year round, whether it's exotics, whitetail, hogs, turkey. There's always something in season here in Texas. All right, we've left Illinois. We're headed down to Junction, Texas. We got Jordan with me. He's gonna hunt, cameraman, swap out. We're gonna do some out out hunting. Something we've never done before. We got our crossbows. We've had a lot of rain down here in Texas. Got the Honda Pioneer on the back. Hopefully uh, that doesn't get stuck, but they've had a lot of rain here in Texas. But we're excited. Looks like we got about eight hours and 23 minutes to go. Get ready to hunt in the morning. Kill some out at. What are you doing over there, Jordy? Oh, making a shopping list. <laughs> So we finally made it. Six hours of driving yesterday, 12 today, and we are here bumping along. But it's a beautiful country, hopefully, we can get on some uh, how dad in the morning, maybe a couple of hogs, some hog ground. We're in Texas. Not really for sure how that works out. Yeah. The old man gets a little bad. It's the one you chose, though. <laughs> oh, young willow snapper over here gets king size <laughs> water bed. Sounds fair to me. I don't know. <laughs> First up to bat's gonna be my nephew Jordan. Got some out that came in. Hey, we're down here at John's Exotics, Junction, Texas. I got Jordan with me. I got Zach, one of the guides. Uh, Jordan was able to kill his first owl dad this morning with the crossbow. What do you think, Jordan? Pretty awesome. 
pretty awesome. That <clears throat> sums it up, huh? Yep. Two birds. <laughs> you know, it didn't go far. Maybe been 25 yards. Simple, easy recovery. So, Zach, what all do you have going on here at John's Exotic? Man, a family owned and operated. But up here in Texas Hill Country, we got a lot of exotics. Uh, so one of our main ones right here, especially in the sheep species. Everybody's always coming up here to shoot those or come after axis deer or whatever. But this is a real, this is a trophy for a bow. I mean, that's one of the hardest animals to kill out here. Yeah. So you can hang out out here around here? Yes, sir. Okay. All right. So we've never ate out dad before. Some people like it, not many. <laughs> Most people don't like it, but we're gonna give it a try and uh, see what we think. Uh, stay tuned for that, but just an awesome time here at John's Exotic. Weather held out last night, we had a lot of lightning, but uh, Jordan made it happen today. Uh, get back to the lodge, get this uh, taken care of, see what I can do this evening. Thanks, yes, sir. Yeah. Thank Congratulations, you. buddy. Thanks Good a lot. Job. Thanks, Jordan. Yep. Awesome. Awesome, man. <laughs> Good hunt. Good hunt. <laughs> All right. Sitting on the porch. Rain finally quit and pouring. Jordy done got his owl dad. It's my turn. Together, I eat some lunch. Rest in our bellies. And we're going to go see what will happen. Still a little thunder in the background, but I think we're going to stay dry. Yeah, I think it's about over. Meteorologist Jordan, probably about as right as any other weatherman I've ever listened to, so we're good to go. Well, we've got about an hour of shooting like left. Still no owl, Dad. I guess that's a good reason to have to hunt tomorrow, huh? I think there are worse things to do, but you say there's still an hour. Hopefully, we might still come in tonight. See just about everything else, but no owl, Dad. Keep hunting. same blind where Jordy uh, killed his owl dad yesterday morning. Um, we've just been here about 10 minutes. Got enough shooting light now. Hopefully uh, we beat up uh, yesterday morning. See what happens. Either way we're hunting. You know, we knew there were some hogs on the property, not a lot of hogs. The landowner said, you know, if you see any hogs, shoot them. Okay, Jordan got his uh, owl dad. I uh, got my hog, so it's my turn now. We're gonna see what I can do with the owl dad. Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. What a morning, folks. An hour died of you. Right before that, I was able to shoot a hog, and that, I know that's a big you. I don't think that hog went far. The you stumbled over here. I don't know if it's down, but it's gonna be down soon. Just a spectacular morning. I am so stoked. John's Exotics, Junction, Texas. Yes. Yes. Ah. Yes, I'm gonna call Zach. Yes. So we have a pretty good idea of the ewes down over here. Uh, Zach's here now. We're gonna follow the blood trail in this hog. You know, we've got some blood. I've seen him go through this uh, thicket here, so we're just gonna try to pick up the blood trail and follow him and hopefully uh, find this hog. Woohoo, <laughs> <laughs> I found my thing. <laughs> Back, but. <laughs> they got me. They got me. I'm almost in New Mexico. Cause he went out of the way. Two for two this morning. Man, oh man. That's what we're wanting. Our dad and wild hog chili. Woo! Sal, congratulations, you. buddy. Yes, sir. I'm glad it rained yesterday. Pretty good time home. Hey, what a morning here at John's Exotics. We came out, did some out out hunting, and this is the strangest out out you've ever seen, isn't it? But no, when this hog came in, it was a no brainer, shoot the hog. Uh, the first hog we, we saw, you, you don't really have a lot of hogs here, do you? No, sir, we try to keep them out of, the, out of here. We just, they always tear up the feeders and tear up the land, and they're a nuisance. Yeah, there's no way to eradicate the hogs, like you can really do is control them down here in Texas. Yes, sir. And you guys do that though with helicopters? Yes sir, we do it with helicopters. That, that's the best way to get rid of them. I mean, you can have fun with it and that's that's how you get your number. That would be a lot of fun. Yes sir. But, uh, no, we got an out out of you. We still have to uh, go and find. Uh, I seen her stumble. She isn't far. So let's go find that out out of you. That's good. good awesome. Job, buddy. We got a complete pass through on that out out of you. Through the arrow stuck over here in the dirt. Covered in blood. She didn't go far. We have not found a drop of blood. Jordy says, let's look at the footage. I said, yeah, because we have not found a drop of blood. I take two steps around the corner. I said, ah, never mind. Big out out you down. Come on. <laughs> not a drop of blood leading to this thing. Heck yes. Look at this. Perfect shot. That is. Big a dandy you. you, isn't it? Big you. Man. So we uh, recovered this you, not a single drop of blood. She ran maybe, what, 50 yards? Maybe, yes, maybe, maybe 50 yards, but my understanding just a big you. Yes, sir. Get this it. is a mature you. This is about as big as they get right here. Yeah, that's she's awesome. A, she's a definite one to get out of her. Now, is it typical for their horns to be this dark? Yes, sir. Is it? Out here. They get in this mud. They're always, that's okay. their natural color too. Okay. I mean, that's as they get older, they get darker. Just sometimes like a white. Color, so. Awesome. So these ewes came in uh, pretty early, low light conditions, but we got some good footage. I was using the the Sightmark Core SX scope, and it has green and uh, red reticles, so that was really helping me uh, get a good cross uh, hair on her. She didn't go far. Perfect shot. Just an awesome time. So we shot an owl, Dad. We shot a Wild hog. What else do you guys offer here? We have axis deer, black buck, oryx, all dad, fallow, uh, psycho deer. Uh, we have a few sheep species, red sheep, mouflon. We've got I ibex. I saw some giant red There's, sheep. We have some big red sheep, yes. Sir. yes. And, uh, we have some Neil guy running around out here. Red stag, and we have a little bit of everything. Yes, they do. We've, we've seen a lot of different stuff. We've seen a, a woolly mammoth earlier with the tail almost dragging the ground. Was, almost. I don't know what it was, but it was pretty cool. So how do they get a hold of you guys? You just go, we have a Facebook page, uh, Keith Johns Exotics, and then there's Johns Exotics, either one. And then uh, we have a website that's Johns Exotics. And we do helicopter hog hunts, we do deer surveys, we have a helicopter service as well, as we, and we hunt. Now you have another ranch in South Texas. Yes, sir. And what do you guys do there? We do all whitetail hunts. All whitetail. Yes, sir. Big Texas giant whitetail. Yes, sir. 
Awesome. What an amazing time. Congratulations, Thank Jason. Thank you. We'll get the Honda backed up here, throw in the Pioneer, and uh, go make some. Uh, yeah. I think I've decided on Owl Dad Hog Chili. How's that sound? No, it don't sound <laughs> good. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Yes, sir. Meep, meep. If you're in Texas and there's a couple guitars laying around, some guitar pickings in order. Closed captioning for Bone Wild TV is brought to you by John Boos. Bone Wild TV is brought to you by John Boos and Company, Al's Goldfish Lure Company, Pulsar Thermal and Night Vision, Tacticam Deer Management Systems, Nocturnal, Black Hole Targets, True Fire, Carbon Express Arrows, Rocky Mountain, Eastman Outdoors, Shooter Targets, Expedition Archery, Reveal Trail Cameras, and National Shooting Sports Foundation Plus One Movement. So if you're watching this show, chances are that you are already a hunter and somebody introduced you to the sport of hunting. A person taught you firearm safety, helped you prepare and study for your hunter education test, explain hundreds of things from scouting for game, hanging in a tree stand, setting out a proper decoy spread, to shot placement. Whether that person was your father, a mother, a friend's parent, or a sibling, you'll never forget what they taught you. And you're never gonna forget that person. Now it's time to pay that forward to someone new. The National Shooting Sports Foundation's Plus One Movement provides a way to get started. The Plus One Movement is all about mentoring and removing the barriers into entry into hunting and the target shooting sports that too many people are encountering today. And it all begins with an invitation. Shelly and Jordan are stepping up to the plate. They're being that hunting mentor to their grandchildren, to their nieces and nephews that they do not have. Uh, a lot of kids are growing up without a father figure. And it's up to us, whether we're a friend, a grandparent, an uncle, uh, an aunt, to step up, be that mentor, get these kids out there to hunt that don't have anybody else to take them. I guess hunting's just always been a part of our life. Mm -hmm. I remember, you know, back in the day when mom and dad would go out hunting and thought, well, oh, this, is, this is something that, you know, we would really be interested in doing and things. And then you kind of, you know, yeah. got into it. Hunting's been around since I can remember, so it's just mm -hmm. part of our- Part of your life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got a fourth generation coming up, and and I I don't know what about you, Jordan? I think it's important to you know keep keep it going. And yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Keep the next generation involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, there's a rooster out there. I was watching it. <laughs> oh, there is. There's a pheasant out there. But that's that's part of what we love about about being out here in the country and this hunting life that we live and things that we can be out here and we can see you know, the pheasant run by, and, and it's something that we can pass on to the next generation, and that they will also have the same love of, you know, nature and hunting and... It's a shame a lot of people don't get to experience it. Mm -hmm. I love hunting, it's part of life for me. So I just want the, you know, my nephews and nieces, and I want them all to grow up the way I did, you know, hunting and... Fishing. Um, Hunting and fishing. <laughs> yep. I encourage everyone to take the plus one pledge, become a mentor to someone new. Simply go to letsgohunting.org or letsgoshooting.org. 
Those are the National Shooting Sports Foundation's flagship site for hunters and target shooting sport participants. They're loaded with information and videos on gear, techniques, wild game recipes, and more. And it's a great resource for any person you choose to mentor. Right at the top of the page, you'll find information about the Plus One movement and a link to take the Plus One pledge. And it also has the resources that you need to extend that all-important invitation. And don't forget to uh, share your experiences on social media using the hashtag Plus One Movement. Now, if just one in three hunters adds one new person to our hunting traditions, we'll secure a future for uh, generations to come. Why don't you be that one person to uh, invite somebody in the, and get the fire ignited? Hey, thanks for tuning in. On the next episode, we're headed down to Mississippi at Granada Lake Charters. We're going to be crappie fishing on a Quest pontoon boat. Uh, Granada Lake is home of the three-pound crappie. We'll see.